one night we were at years ago when we were younger, like in our mid twenties, we were out celebrating like a back, like a small bachelorette party out in Westchester. And uh, we were all out. Everyone kind of got separated. It was like 20 of us. And I was like, we're all hanging out. Kev, meeting his now wife, is talking to this girl. And I will admit this girl's a fucking 10. And has her, like, it was about to get her number. And he blocked by the, I don't even know if I can use this. You might have to cut when I say this. But C blocked by the... <laughs> And he's like, well, fuck it. And looks and turns to me and goes, well, fuck it, Tim. I'm just getting hammered tonight. So I had to escort two other friends who get kicked out of the bar back to my buddy's apartment. Yes, for once I was responsible one. I Weird, especially back then. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. I had to take them back to the apartment to make sure nothing else happens. I get home. I fall asleep on the couch after I settle these two down. Wake up in a panic because I smell bacon cooking to find that my one friend has come back to and starts cooking all the breakfast food in my buddy's apartment. Go, what the fuck? And then I realized that I've lost them. Call my friend whose apartment is go. You have to find. Um, I clearly won't use last names. You have to find Kev, you know? And I was like, I can't, well, I can't find him because like, where'd the last time you see him? I'm like, well, he was about to get that girl's number. Then got cock blocked. And, then he's just like, screw it, I'm getting drunk. And then five minutes later, I was taking the other two idiots who got kicked out of home. And he goes, all right, well, where do you think he is? I'm like, he won't pick up his cell phone. And then they're just walking in the thing. And he's like, wait a minute, I found him. <laughs> he drunkenly had found his like way back to a certain area where he remembered us starting the night. And just as my buddy's like, okay, well, where do you think he is? Turned and looked. And our buddy is sitting there, sitting, standing straight up passed out while still kind of simultaneously walking repeatedly into like the closed door of a bar that was at the time luckily closed and <clears throat> the cops couldn't see him because in Westchester they're like they they cracked down on that shit real big time so the next morning I wake up we're all up and I'm looking at him dude I'm like dude I'm just so glad I'm not bailing you out of jail right now and he goes yeah me too and I go what was going on he goes well after that girl friend cock locked me and I couldn't get her number I literally thought, well, Kev, you're just going to get drunk, fall asleep on someone's lawn, and worry about your problems in the morning. <laughs> I was just literally lying. He goes, I thought, I thought about just falling asleep on someone's lawn and worrying about my problems. 